Hello and welcome everyone. So I'm gonna do another video here on the sun, and I've done a number of videos in in, in the past. Uh, most of them are over several years old. So I decided to do a newer video for people that are really watching a lot of my videos, and they're learning a lot, and they're just really moving forward. I'm getting a lot of your emails about your success, and I'm really proud of uh, every single one of you and everyone that's watching and moving forward. That's what the videos are for. Uh, I just want everyone to have the most accurate and the most up-to-date up information. So with that said, please watch this whole entire video and uh, you'll understand this. It's very easy to grasp and just a little disclaimer for everyone just because this is so controversial. Uh, everything that I'm going to tell you has been not only what I benefited from my four or five years now of being in the sun and also other people that have really went on the alternative route of not following the mainstream quote unquote information. Alright, so let's go ahead folks. Is the sun good for you? Vitamin D is a vitamin involved in maintaining healthy bone strength. I'm sure a lot of you know that. One way you can get this sun vitamin is exposure to the ultraviolet light in the sun. However, you don't need much time in the sun to reap the benefits. And then this is going to talk about some doctor explaining sun exposure. You only need 15 minutes. So let me give you my thoughts on this now. And what is really reality? First off, vitamin D is very important for ma maintaining bone strength. And if you're taking it in supplement form, I just want everyone to know this, you cannot duplicate the sun. But on the flip side, if you're in an area and it's really something that you're not getting any sun at all, and I'll show you that here in a moment, that it's really dark and or there's a lot of clouds blocking the sun and you can't really absorb a lot of the, the vitamin D through your open skin, which you need about 50% of your uh, skin showing when you're, when you're going to get the sun, if you want to really actually uh, get that vitamin D to hit you, then you may want to look into a supplement. But, you, but once again, you cannot recreate the sun, and you're going to get a fraction of what the actual sun can do. So, really responding to what this gentleman was saying 15 minutes, it doesn't matter the time frame so much as where it's hitting the skin. So if you've got 50% of your skin showing, for example, you're a male, you're wearing a pair of shorts, no shirt, you're going to have a lot of that skin showing. You're going to have the important areas, which, which are the stomach, in the forehead. If you're a female and you're out at the beach, you can wear a bikini or anything that's going to be showing your stomach and your, of course your forehead would be exposed, of course, with no sunblock. And I'm not telling everyone to go in the sun today and go for two hours in the sun because it says 15 minutes and get burned. That's not what I'm saying. You need to ease into it and I'll tell you, uh, I'll tell you a little story uh, that happened to me and I want to share all of this with you that happened to me about, I'd say, almost seven years ago. And I really wasn't going in the sun uh, at this point, and it had been really a long time. And the most sun I was in was in something of this uh, particular <laughs> nature where the sun is coming down, and I wasn't in really... Well, I wasn't really in this either. I was in this and this is where the problem happened so I was out for about four hours and at this time I did wear some sunblock and really didn't get burned on those areas remember I hadn't been in the sun for years so my calves got burned it was about three or four hours in the sun it wasn't definitely more than four and of course I knew they were really burned I was putting the coconut on to soothe it and People are like, wow, look at how burned your, your calves got, and it looked like somebody torched them with, with a fire. And, you know, that doesn't happen to me now. And if I would have been smarter about it, and I wouldn't have been so toxic with my diet, which back then I was eating a lot of fast food, every day. I was eating all the junk I tell everyone not to do. My diet consisted primarily of meat, uh, very little vegetables, almost no fruit, and my body was extremely acidic. Uh, alcohol at that time still. And 
the sun didn't make it any better. Because the sun is acidic. Granted, it has a lot of electromagnetic energy, but if you have an acidic diet and you go in something acidic, it's going to burn. It's very simple. So you need to ease into it. Now that I'm on a raw diet, I never ever get burned even if I'm out there four hours. It won't happen. But I'm on a different level than I was seven years ago. So keep that in mind. So you want to ease into it when you go in the sun. Now, I'm not a big fan of sunblock, and I'm going to tell you my personal reason why. The sun needed to hit your skin, as I mentioned earlier in this video. You need to hit the open skin. So when you block that, you're not going to get the vitamin D. Just like if you're in an area where there's a lot of clouds and you can't get a lot of the sun, you may want to look into a vitamin D supplement, but you cannot duplicate, again, what the sun has to offer. So keep that in mind. Remember, the sun is there for a reason. And the sun is, is really, really meant for the human body. So if you're reading all the information out there about the sun and the negative effects and this and that, you're not reading about the negative effects of the person's diet and what they're consuming, what they're doing daily. And to me, when you put on something on your skin with all this gooey nonsense and you don't know really what's in it, to me, that's doing yourself a disservice. Not only doing a disservice, but when you're putting acids on acid, you're doing yourself an even more of a disservice and you're causing more harm to the body. And I know this from first-hand experience. And this isn't just on me. There's plenty of other people. Uh, if you just look online that are in the sun and they don't have any issues, especially people that are in the raw food community that are doing a lot of raw foods, they don't have problems. It's always the people that listen to this information, they're so scared of the sun, they're like, James, I have a heart problem. James, I have this problem. Well, you have those problems because of the daily diet, and it's not knocking those people. You won't have those problems if you're following a raw food diet. It, it, it just doesn't work that way. Because I know, because I've had those problems. Seven years ago, I was one of those people. And I knew this. I had lost all the hair off my legs. I mean, I was to a whole different level of acidity, pain, and discomfort. Sure, I was really big and buffed and couldn't fit in my clothes, but what good did that do me when I was so unhealthy and my body was destroyed? So, I'll take less muscle any day be fit and strong and look a heck of a lot better anyways and feel a lot better. So keep that in mind. So again, with that said, the amount of sun I get is about 30 minutes. I just got about 30 minutes now, uh, 15 minutes on the back um, with, you know, 15 minutes going on the front, really hitting um, a lot of those areas with the, the stomach and the forehead and again, I just kind of even it out, but it's, it's really about getting your skin to show and really uh, easing into it. I don't suggest everyone to go out there and get 30 minutes today if you've never been in the sun. Ease into it, just like anything else. Start with 5 minutes, 10 minutes, and maybe do it a couple times a week. You don't really need that much, and then you could uh, really get more sun if you know, the sun is out and it's the summertime. And, uh, the body will store the vitamin D and this is not something you have to get in the winter months anyways. That's the way humans are. So, hope this information helps everyone. Uh, once again, this is my take on it. And if you're really scared and, you know, think the sun's going to cause cancer, then don't go in it. I mean, I really just put this information out there for anyone who wants to get to the next level and wants to uh, always uh, have, have the best information possible. And what I know personally has worked the best for me and many other people I've given this information to over the years. Thank you so much, folks. Bye-bye.